Lakshmi to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. India has a wide variety of tribes and the government has always been working towards the upliftment of their culture and traditions. Recently, the Department of Culture and Tourism of Chhattisgarh organized the third edition of the National Tribal Dance Festival, which was recently held in the Raipur city of Chhattisgarh. The festival aims at bringing together different tribal communities and providing them a platform for showcasing their culture. Have a look. The history of dance is as old as the history of man itself. One of the oldest forms of communication, the spirit of dance is celebrated in a wide variety of events, festivals and competitions all around the world. Rejoicing the spirit of dance along with celebrating the culture of tribal communities, the third edition of the National Tribal Dance Festival was recently held in Raipur city of Chhattisgarh. Around 1,500 artists from across India and across the globe participated in the festival, thus making it a grand affair. हमको बहुत अच्छा लगा हम लोग साहेब बार-बार बुलाए तो इसीलिए हम इधर का जो माननीय मुख्यमंत्री हैं उनको भी धन्यवाद देते हैं कि इतना बड़ा ये साहेब स्टेट लेवल का नेशनल इंटरनेशनल लेवल का ये साहेब इधर ही हुआ है मैंने जाना है कि तीन साल हो गया रानी तीन साल तो मैं हम लोग जाता है ऐसा हर स्टेट में हो शिल्पी को ऐसा मतलब अपना कल्चर को अपना देश का जो इतना दुनिया ये है उसको जीवित रख के सब ऐसा करना करने से अच्छा है Organized by the Department of Culture and Tourism of Chhattisgarh, the festival aims at bringing together different tribal communities and provide them a platform for showcasing their culture. Artists perform the dances of their native lands, many of which have been a part of their lives and handed down through generations. Held across a span of three days, traditional Indian tribal dances like Maharashtra's Songi Mas dance, Nagaland's Maku Himsi dance, Gujarat's Siddhi tribe's Dhamal dance were showcased on the stage. हम आसाम से आए हुए हैं आसाम में कम से कम हम लोग कार्बी कम्युनिटी का है टेन इलेवन डिस्ट्रिक्ट में कार्बी लोग हैं कार्बी पीपल है अदर अदर स्टेट में भी है जैसे कि अरुणाचल में है मेघालय में है अलग अलग बांग्लादेश में भी है लेकिन हम लोग का जो डिस्ट्रिक्ट है टेन डिस्ट्रिक्ट में है उनका जो पहले वाला जो जीवन जापन करने का जो पद्धति था वो पहाड़ी में जूम खेती खान खेती पहाड़ी में करके किया था आज भी करता है उसको जगह में क्योंकि आजकल थोड़ा नियम आ गया तो इसीलिए बाहर कासस खाता नहीं है तो थोड़ा जगह थोड़ा थोड़ा बहुत तो होता है अभी भी तो ये फसल खत फसल लगाने का समय में जो नाच होता है जो खाने का समय जो गाना होता है वो गाना और नाच को हम इधर अर्पण किया है वो ऐसे मतलब परम्परा से चल रहा है आए आ ही रहा है उसको हम इधर अर्पण किया आर्टिस्ट फ्रॉम कंट्रीज लाइक मोजम्बी Russia, Serbia, Maldives and others graced the festival with their performances which were equally captivating. The Russians got the loudest cheers while showcasing their Khorovod, Klyaska, Kalinka and Kosak dances. The Serbians showed a few moves inspired by shepherds tasked with herding sheep in much colder climates along with the Egyptians performing dances that dated back to the ancient times. While the main attraction were the artists, they weren't the only ones attracting the visitors. A number of stalls were set up at the Shilpgram which served tribal delicacies, artworks, handlooms Pottries and other things as well to the visitors. A stall that garnered a lot of interested visitors was the Bastar Tribal Tattoo Parlor, which uses an ancient tattoo and highlights the importance of tattoos in some tribal cultures. 
जो मैंने टैटू बनवाया है ये गोतना है जो कि हमारे ट्राइबल कल्चर का पार्ट है हमारी दादियाँ भी मतलब उनके पास भी टैटू होता था तो डेट्स वाई मैंने सोचा कि क्यों ना मतलब अपने कल्चर को थोड़ा सा अपने लाइफ में इंट्रोड्यूस करें पिछले कुछ सालों से हम ट्राइबल कल्चर को अपने रोज़मर्रा की ज़िंदगी में इवेंट्स में और बहुत जगह पर देख रहे हैं तो जिसके कारण हमारे जो ट्राइबल कल्चर है लाइक बस्तर कोंडा गाँव में कोंडा गाँव में पूरा आर्ट फॉर्म है इसका बस्तर के ट्राइबल्स में होम स्टे ओपन हो चुकी हैं बहुत सारे फॉरेनर फॉरेनर्स आ रहे हैं तो इसका बहुत सारे पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट भी पड़ता है इट इज़ ए सस्टेनेबल टूरिज़म कि जब बाहर की पब्लिक का विज़िट करती है तो कुछ ना कुछ वहाँ की लोकल पब्लिक को देखी जाती है लोकल लोगों को जॉब मिलता है एजुकेशन मिलती है लाइफ देखने को मिलता है और उसके कारण से वहाँ के जो ट्राइबल्स हैं वो बाहर निकलते हैं लाइक दिल्ली में उनका दिल्ली रायपुर में उनका एग्जीबिशन होता है तो ये जो फ्यूजन मतलब लोग बाहर निकल के आ रहे थे इसका कहीं ना कहीं बेनिफिट ट्राइबल्स लोगों को देखने मिलेगा In its own unique way, the festival reminded us that our idea of deracinated modernity would be harmful if it eradicated our close ties to nature and our century-old traditions. <laughs> Seeing the performances, many from cultures that we have never encountered, remind us of the great diversity of this country and the many stories we have inherited from our ancestors. India is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit, but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. The unity of these myriad faiths can be very well witnessed at the dargahs of Sufi saints. So today we take you to the special prayers offered at the dargah of Hazrat Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani in Jammu and Kashmir, which has been serving as a bridge between different castes and communities. An epicenter of faiths, a place where brotherhood and bond harmony between as many religions could be seen flourished and prospered at its best. The dargah of Hazrat Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, situated in Jammu and Kashmir, is one such melange of diversities. Situated in the Khania area of old Srinagar city, the shrine witnesses a rush of devotees throughout the day. Recently special prayers were offered to celebrate the urs of the Sufi saint. The shrine of Hazrat Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani is also known as Dastgir Sahib. Whether one is Hindu, Muslim, Sikh or from any other community, the aroma of the shrine serenades them into cheerfulness and a belief of fulfillment ensues in them. हर एक इंसान का वादिया कश्मीर में नहीं बल्कि पूरी दुनिया में चाहे हम ईरान देखें इराक देखें टर्की देखें आज के दिन पे दस्तगीर साहब के उर्स मुबारक पे हर एक जगह पे मनाया जाता है खाली वादिया कश्मीर में नहीं है हर एक जगह पे है जो हमारा सूफी सेक्टर ने हमेशा कश्मीर में अमन की बात की हुई है अगर हम इस चीज़ को समझेंगे अमन कश्मीर में आना कोई फिर मुश्किल भाईचारे की बात की है कम्यूनल हारमोनी की बात की है उसी चीज़ को हमें देखने की जरूरत है उसी चीज़ को अपनाने की भी जरूरत है Dastgir Sahib is actually buried in Baghdad but his important belongings including relics are inside the shrine where celebrations occur once a year in the annual urs Devotees from different parts of the valley pay their tributes to this famous saint The areas around the shrine were a festive look with many roadside vendors selling a whole lot of eatables and other items The dargah of Hazrat Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani is perfect example of communal harmony that is witnessed throughout the length and breadth of our country. Today, Urse Park is Hazrat Sheikh Sayyid Shah Abdul Qadir Jilani, Rahmatullah Alaihi Ka, whose market is in Baghdad Sharif. Because he has been working for a long time, he has given a lot of people a peace and a way of living. He has shown a lot of people a way of living. तो यहाँ पे भी कश्मीर में भी उनका इन्फ्लुएंस है उनका यहाँ पे उर्स मनाया जाता है हज़रत शेख सईद शाह अब्दुल कादिर जिला ने बाईस साल तक सफ़र किया है इलम हासिल करने के लिए फिर खुद दरसगाह कायम की खानकाह कायम की गरीबों के लिए लंगर तैयार करवाया लंगर खाने बनाए अमन के लिए भी बहुत काम किया है हज़रत शेख सईद शाह अब्दुल्कादिर जिला ने रजील्ला तुने 
paradise on earth, Kashmir is also known as the valley of Sufis and saints and many shrines can be found here. The solidarity among the different religious communities has remained a hallmark of India's unity since time immemorial. And now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Soccer fans in a small village in southern India's Kerala put up giant cutouts of Lionel Messi and Neymar on local river to celebrate the upcoming World Cup. The 30 feet tall cutout of Messi went viral as soon as it debuted on social media. Brazil fans from the state then quickly came up with a bigger cutout of Neymar, 40 feet tall, and placed it next to Argentine captain. ये मेसी का कटआउट लगाया है ना पूरा दुनिया में ये मालूम हो गया सारी जगह से हमको मैसेज आता है इतना बड़ा इतना फेमस हो जाएगा हम सोचा भी नहीं है To elevate the friendly rivalries further Portugal fans in Pullavur village said they also plan to install a similar cutout of Portuguese forward and five time Ballon d'Or winner Cristiano Ronaldo soon this year's World Cup is scheduled to kick off in Qatar on November 20. Devotees in India's northern Hindu pilgrimage city of Varanasi throng the banks of River Ganga to take holy dips and offer prayers to mark the auspicious ritual of Tulsi Viva, which commences the wedding season. Today, Tulsi Viva is Tulsi पहले पे भगवान श्री कृष्ण चार महीना सोते हैं चार महीने के बाद उठते हैं तो तुलसी के तुलसी के साथ विवाह होता है उसी का दीपोत्सव है इसी से आगे भी हम लोगों जो शहरी में शारीरिक मानवता मानव वाले भी आगे वो उसका उद्देश्य है कि वो बताया जाता है कि आप आगे की भी शुभ लग्न आपका चालू हो जाए पहले भगवान का शादी होगी उसके बाद आगे मानव मानव लोगों की भी शादी होगी उसी के लिए ये दीपोत्सव मनाया जा रहा है on this day, the ritual of marrying Tulsi or Holy Basil plant, which is holy to Hindus, to Shaligram, a symbolic form of Hindu god Shri Krishna, is performed. Hindus gathered on the river bank and lit hundreds of earthen lamps to observe Deepotsav or the festival of lamps. Deepotsav is celebrated to mark a wedding between gods and goddesses, following which it is considered auspicious for humans to marry each other. Cast members of upcoming Bollywood adventure drama film Unchai or Hide, including veteran actors Anupam Kher, Woman Irani, and Sarika Thakur, promoted the film in India's showbiz capital of Mumbai along with director Suraj Paljatya. I that career, young career, Bada, moving, uh, exciting, spiritual, happy, funny experience. Kabhi nahi. Why mere The cinema has drawn attention with its promising cast, including mega star Amitabh Bachchan, veteran actors Nina Gupta, and actress Pariniti Chopra, apart from Khair and Irani. The story of Muchai revolves around three friends who make it their mission to climb Mount Everest as they take a break from the comfort of their daily lives. India is a country where a number of religions and ethnic groups have been residing peacefully for generations. Examples of this peaceful and harmonious coexistence could be seen in different nooks and corners of the country. A similar example was seen in Lucknow city of Uttar Pradesh at the Dargah of Hazrat Khwaja Muhammad Nabi Raza, which has been uniting different communities for years. Take a look. Situated in the Lucknow city of Uttar Pradesh, the Dargah of Hazrat Khwaja Muhammad Nabi Raza has been serving as a sinashaw of religious harmony for generations. Regarded as one of the greatest Sufi saints, Hazrat Khwaja Muhammad Nabi throughout his life propagated the message of peace and brotherhood. 
be it Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs or Christians, people of all religious communities visit the shrine for fulfillment of wishes. ये खानका कॉमी एक जहती के लिए और भाईचारे के लिए बहुत मशहूर है। यहाँ पर हर तरह के हर मज़हब के मानने वाले लोग यहाँ पर आते हैं और अपनी आकीदत का इजहार करते हैं। लोग अपनी मन्नतें मुरादे लेके आते हैं दादा मियाँ अल्लाह ताला की बारगाह में और इस करते हैं उस तरीके से वो उनकी मुरादें दा� Coming from far and wide, people of all religious communities attended the special prayers to seek the blessings of the saint. It is believed that the saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from here. I don't think that we are Hindus or different religions, we are Muslim, we give love to our love, we give love to our love, we give love to our love. उसी तरह से सबको ही मानते हैं जैसे अब मुसलमानों को मानते हैं वो कभी ऐसा मुझे फील ही नहीं हुआ चीटी भर भी नहीं फील हुआ कि यहाँ पर मुस्लिम और हिंदू में फर्क रखा जाए परिवार के लोग आते हैं आपके यहाँ हाँ जी मेरी पूरी फैमिली आती है और रिलेटिव्स भी आते हैं हमारे और जिन्हें मैं बताता हूँ वो खुशी से यहाँ आते हैं Since ages, the Sufi saints like Hazrat Khwaja Muhammad Nabi have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country. And their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the thread of secularism. Indian YouTubers are budding with enormous talent and creativity. The Indian YouTube industry has grown over the last decade and is still prospering. Let's have a look at a few people who used YouTube as their stair to success. Talent innovation and creativity Excellent. be it directing videography or acting these villagers in india's chatiskar state have become internet sensations by creating content for youtube so I'll see village's flagship youtube channel being chatiskaria now boasts nearly 116,000 subscribers and more than 200 videos and counting the interest among villagers grew during the covid 19 lockdown in 2020 which put many blue-collar workers out of jobs and which restricted movement. Now, hundreds of residents in this village are involved in the channel, from on-screen performances to post-production work. The villagers upload roughly two to three fresh videos every month, which earns roughly 485 USD a month from YouTube. ऐसा है कि हमारे गांव की आबादी लगभग 3000 के आसपास है और हमारे यहां 1000 लोग हमारे YouTube में सहयोग करते किसी न किसी रूप में कई लोग एक्टिंग करते हैं कोई वीडियो बनाता है खुद कई लोग के चैनल खुद के हैं तो ऐसा करके 1000 के आसपास जो हमारे गांव की आबादी है वो YouTube में इन्वॉल्व है इंडियाज क्रिएटर इकोनॉमी इज बूमिंग एंड इज शोइंग नो साइंस ऑफ स्लोइंग डाउन Local creators on YouTube contribute an estimated 826 million USD a year to the country's GDP and have generated 700,000 jobs, according to a top YouTube executive. Be it food, travel, health, entertainment or education, content is being created on many different themes and in diverse languages as new content creators join the digital platform. It is an open platform. Uh, you know, you and I, if we have a creative idea, something to share with the world, we can start a channel on YouTube today and begin sharing it throughout the country, but also throughout the world. And um, it is a place that doesn't have gatekeepers. It doesn't have curators. It doesn't have somebody saying, you look a certain way. You don't look uh, the right way. You don't speak the right language. You don't come from the right, you know, background or what have you. None of that exists on YouTube. And so that inherently, that openness of platform, I think creates opportunities for incredible diversity in our platform. Meet Yatinder Singh, a fitness legend, entrepreneur, and bodybuilder from India. Yatinder, who has won more than 20 championships, including Mr. World 2015, produces YouTube fitness videos for beginners, 
intermediates, and experts. With approximately 4.17 million YouTube subscribers, Yatinder Singh's channel offers motivational, lifestyle, and self-promotional videos. I was fitness, so I started to fitness ke around content. Banana shuru kiya. But starting is to that I am passionate about fitness, I want to make that content. But yes, views and subscribers should come, then employment will generate. Ho jati. India's creator economy is thriving thanks to the country's growing internet penetration. According to Statista, in 2020, India had over 749 million internet users across the country. This figure is projected to grow to over 1.5 billion users by 2040. With the recent launch of the 5G network in the country, Digital content will be accessible to people in even the most remote areas and will allow for increased contribution across the country. Some of the most vibrant digital content will now be produced by ordinary Indians. India is on the cusp of a major user-first digital revolution. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Thousands of people, mainly tourists, flock to Thailand's northern Chiang Mai province to release thousands of lanterns into the sky to celebrate the annual Yi Peng Festival, also known as the Thai Festival of Lights. According to the organizer, about 8,000 visitors from all over the world joined the festival this year, not its peak number. Actually, when we look in the Instagram Thailand, this is one of the top five pictures we see. So it's a big dream to see the lanterns over the sky. That's why we're here. And I think it's a big uh, cultural festival and we like that. Jipeng is an ancient tradition with traces going back to the Lana Kingdom to mark the end of the monsoon season and the beginning of the cool season. In recent years, it is observed in the northern region on the full moon of the 12th lunar month of the Thai calendar year, which coincides with the Loy Krathong Bay celebration, where Thai float banana tree trunk boats decorated with flowers and candles into the river or lake as a gesture to float away misfortunes and to ask for forgiveness from the mother of the waters, Thai river goddess or May Konka. The releasing of the lantern on the night of the full moon is a symbol of letting go of misfortunes and of welcoming good luck in the coming year. Yokohama Nissan Stadium is a multi-purpose stadium having 72,000 audience capacity. Not only sports, but music concerts and other events are also organized in this stadium. Yokohama has always been a gateway to the West world ever since the governance of Edo Shogunate. The city has long history of sports. In 1866, it was Edo era where samurais used to walk the streets with swords in their hands. The rugby club was also established with the first Japanese soccer game being held in 1888. After the construction of the Yokohama International Stadium in 1998, sports in the Japanese city received a further push. Later, the FIFA World Cup, the Rugby World Cup and the Tokyo Olympic Games were held there in 2002, 2019 and 2020 respectively. こちらが選手が使うロッカールームになっております。今日はですね、特別に2002年のサッカーワールドカップ当時決勝戦出場されたブラジル代表チームのロッカーを再現しております。選手が使う個々のロッカーの背中にですね、使った選手のサインを残してい
the latest in a spate of activist demonstrations in art galleries around the world. Video footage released by the Stop Fossil Fuel Subsidies Group showed two female protesters using adhesive to stick their hands to Andy Warhol's Campbell Sue 1 on display at the National Gallery in Canberra. Several blue scribbing were also seen across the series of 10 paintings which were protected behind glass frames. The National Gallery of Australia declined to comment on whether the artwork was damaged. Climate activists worldwide have been using demonstrations in front of famous artworks to draw attention to their causes. Japanese company Casio has launched a minimally designed digital piano which sounds exactly like the original one. The PXS7000 is designed to provide a rich musical experience to its users. This PXS7000 has been launched to fulfill the needs of modern musicians who wish to innovate their music. Casio investigated market trends and the needs of piano users to come up with the product. ちさくてま、軽量で持ち運べるといった電子ピアノのスタイルで電子楽器場を切り開いてまいりました。2019年にPXS1000というまた新たに生まれ変わったより小さくより軽くで持ち運びやすくてそして、ま、デザイン性に